Grow Your Own Skills events introduce local high school students to careers in rural health care. The hope is that after students get educated for their chosen health profession, they will come home to their community to practice. Grow Your Own Skills events are driven by the Local Attraction and Retention Committee. To get the ball rolling, the committee contacts RPAP. Our goal is to make it easy. The community consultant for your area will provide your committee with information sheets that outline everything that needs to be done. Don't worry, our consultant is with you all the way, from planning day one right through to the day of the event. Skills events are usually held at the local health care facility, so the site manager needs to be actively involved. Sometimes, when there is no hospital in town, events have been held at the high school, like here in Edgerton. The site manager looks after recruiting health professionals to be instructors at the skill stations. And you'll do a little bit, and then you'll break through the vein. As for supplies, no sweat. RPAP provides the majority of materials that are needed for each station. Poor cocks for suturing, IV and catheterization simulators, needles and more. Speaking of skill stations, the more hands-on, the better. Students love to be kept busy and learn new skills. At the same time, it's a great opportunity for instructors to share why they love working in the local community. Plus, they can provide details about what types of healthcare opportunities are available in your community. Most students are surprised to learn about the wide range of health careers. Sure, there's always physicians and nurses, but there's also physiotherapists, nurse practitioners, mental health clinicians, x-ray and lab technologists, pharmacists, advanced paramedics, and more. Grow Your Own Skills Days are usually about six and a half hours long and mimic the regular school day. So, for example, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. The high schools involved choose students who have shown an interest in healthcare as a profession, usually about 35 to 40 students in all. Students either walk or bus to the event, depending on how far the school is from the day's activities. They divide into five or six groups and head to the first of five or six skill stations. Every 45 minutes they switch. Lunch is provided. During lunch, local healthcare professionals share their positive experiences practicing in the community. Once I came out rural and worked in a rural site, I realized that, you know, rural life is just much more uh, suitable for me. The day is a real eye-opener for students. New ideas about career options pop into mind. Perhaps they came thinking they wanted to be an RN, but now realize that nurse practitioner might be a better fit. Gave me a different outlook on like lab technicians and maybe I want to go into that field. So. I could actually see myself in some of their shoes. Interested in organizing a Grow Your Own Skills event in your community? Contact one of our rural community consultants to get started. Don't delay, these events are very popular and only a limited number are held each year.